Today, I'm getting a very hands-on cultural experience in the world's oldest living rainforest, the Daintree, which includes catching and cooking some of the freshest mud crab in far north Queensland. Bring it on. I'm on the traditional land of the Gugu Jalanji people. So yeah, we call the river system Jingamu. This place, Jingamu. Jingamu is the eastern Taipan. My guide today is local legend Juan Walker from Walkabout Cultural Adventures. The thing is, most people they come to the rainforest, all they see is a complex wall of green. Um, but for you know our people um, and rainforest peoples of northeast Queensland, it's a, it's everything to us. You know, it's a medicine chest, hardware store, tool shed, supermarket and church, all in one. The Daintree is the oldest living rainforest on the planet and home to the traditional custodians for over 50,000 years. Yeah, these trees are quite special. We call them Jarangal, Jarangal in language. And these trees are the host trees and homes for our spirits. So in the hollows, in the dark, this is where the ghosts and spirits, they sleep during the day. And then during the night, these spirits can then go roaming through the country. But I was always taught, you know, if you walk around to the bush, you get lost. If you're you know, hunting and stuff, you get lost, can't find your way out overnight. If you come across one of these big old trees, stop by it. Talk to the old people and give you the information that you need to find your way and find your way home. Next, we head to Koya Beach, just south of the Mossman River, for a very special fishing and cooking lesson. This place here, traditionally, we call this place Guyu Guyu. Guyu Guyu translated means lots of fish. So this is a big fishing beach for our people. So we'll go for a walk out through the shallow water, and if we're lucky enough, we'll catch a feed of mud crab, come back and have a little cook up. Being up here in the tropics, as beautiful as it all is, is there any chance we're going to run into something a little bit bigger than your, uh, your average fish or crab? Which Look, way? we are in croc country. Yeah. So the, what, we've, what we do is we try and make sure that we time our tide. So rather than coming out when it's deep water yeah. and the crocs being able to sneak around behind us, we come out when it's shallow tide and the water's moving away. If the water's moving away, the crocs have nowhere to dive and sneak. If you see me run, try and keep up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every step you take, you just get this rush of excitement because you're like, maybe I'm going to see something here. And the boys are in such control. They're just looking out for everything. I feel super safe, but also at the same time, I'm just filled with adrenaline. So, this is awesome. This is so awesome. Here's one. We've got a big one here coming out. Do you want to pick him up? What? You want to pick him up? How am I going to pick him up? By the paddles. So hey. Reach him behind. Pick him straight up out of the water. One, two, three. Oh, there you go. The legs aren't going to fall off? No. Nah. How's that? You can't get any fresher than that, eh? Oh, this is so cool! Is that, eh? Yes! <laughs> Easy as that. <laughs> and just like that, Juan and Harry whip up an outdoor kitchen in the Daintree spectacular Mossman Gorge. Now, with your mud crab, a lot of people make a mistake of throwing yeah. all of this stuff out from, you know, from inside the carapace. Yeah. But all that brown stuff, that's all the fat. That's all your taste. Put yep. your finger in there, yep. pull around, get your finger in there, pull it around, and then all that fat gotcha. should peel out nice and easy. Let me give you a quick look at this. Have a go at all that flavour. Next, we add one special sauce to the hot pan. Then it's a quick rinse of the shell and straight into the pan, simmer for around 10 minutes. Now it's time for eating. Eating? So okay. Is there any way that I, I've got to do this? Do I have to like crack it, pull it apart a certain way or? Yeah, basically, if you're not making a mess, you're not doing it properly. <laughs> I love it, okay. <laughs> Cheers. All yours, man. All right. Just into it. Are you, are you kidding me right now? That's the best crab I've ever tasted. Look, I know I don't need to give you the sales pitch because everything about this place is absolutely magnificent, but do yourself a favor and book a tour with Juan because not only are you gonna be eating the freshest mud crab in one of the most extraordinary places on this planet, but you're going to be welcomed onto his country and experiencing culture that is so amazing. It's something that can only be felt rather than described. So again, do yourself a favour and come visit. <laughs> <laughs>